Hello folks, welcome. This is Dick Coughlin here on the Total D-Bag. Sorry we haven't done many sort of collab videos lately, but with me being away and uh, the others being... Kalen's works and Edible Napalm... It, well, he's Edible Napalm. Uh, we haven't had a chance to do many recordings lately, so we'll get back on them eventually. But I thought I'd fly solo with this one just to get, get the video uploading on here. Generate a bit more discussion. Now, there's a few things I want to say here. Now... Uh, I said it last night, and I'm predicting it will have happened eventually. I was wrong last night. I said that Daniel Bryan will be made Raw GM by the end of last night. That didn't happen, obviously, because they're dragging uh, this out as long as humanly possible. I think they're trying to see how long they can get away with it. Uh, probably testing the crowd to see uh, if they're... Because the crowd are still don't want Daniel Bryan to give up the title. So I guess they're thinking if the crowd don't want Daniel Bryan to give up the title, then they won't take it off him yet. But there's a few things that people... But let's say let's say they do. Uh, I think the best thing you can do is... Because there's a lot of people with comparisons with da Daniel Bryan did... Uh, is doing now with the authority to what Austin did. And... You know, we may remember uh, Linda McMahon came back and made Steve Austin CEO. Why not have her come back and make G? You know, but have a raw GM that actually matters. Have him have the power to overrule stuff and put him in charge. Essentially, you've then got an excuse to have Daniel Bryan on TV. People are happy with that. You don't have to keep him off. He can then implement some rules saying if anyone puts their hands on me, they're fired. And that would work then. But if they take the title off him, the debate now becomes, who do you give it to? And the one thing that's annoying the piss out of me is everyone saying, put it on Brock Lesnar. Right, now, in theory, that makes fucking sense. But the problem with putting it on Brock Lesnar is the fact that Brock Lesnar's contract allows him to do only, like, three pay-per-views a year and a couple of, like, and, like, ten other you know, 10, 15 other appearances on Raw, and that's fucking it. It doesn't allow him to do anything fucking else. Right Now, he's done two pay-per-views this year. I know his contract is... It starts at WrestleMania, so he's effectively got three pay-per-views in him. But if you keep him... What do you do with it until then? And the other problem... You might as well keep it on... What's the point in giving the title to a guy whose schedule... Uh, who, whose pay-per-views contract does not... Allows him to wrestle... Like means he will have to. He has to take three months off in between pay per view appearances, and then you know by taking and then get, taking it off a guy in Daniel Bryan who's going to be off for two three months because he's injured. What, what's the fundamental difference there? There's no point. And the other problem is, particularly with the internet with the IWC, is these fuckers can't make their mind up. They say put the title on Brock Lesnar, and if you put the title on Brock Lesnar, fine, but you can't. You, you, you're not. Who do you give it to? Every time you bring up someone beating him, they're always like, "Oh, but if you beat him, the streak is meaningless." Well, it's clearly someone's got to beat him eventually. You know, the Undertaker's a fifty-year-old man for fuck's sake. Someone's got to beat, you know, Brock Lesnar eventually for the title, and that's the whole. It's like conquers. It carries on. He beat the streak. You beat Brock Lesnar. You beat. You know, it's it just that's that makes more sense to me. And uh, also, can we shut the fuck up about CM Punk? I'm so sick of it. People can say, oh, they've got to get CM... CM Punk left! Of his own accord. Of his own choice. Right? Stop! Every fucking time I go on the website, they put pictures of, like, CM Punk spotted eating in restaurant shocker. CM Punk seen at his home. Leave him alone. He wants to come back, he will. But he's not going to come back to... The... And if he does come back, what makes you think they're going to put the title on him? A guy who has a habit of walking out when he has a when he gets a fucking strop. And has a little tantrum. So so leave CM Punk at... So fuck CM Punk. But, but anyway, I don't know. What do you think? You tell me in the comment section. This is Dick Coughlin, Total D-Bags, out.